In 2011, I was contacted out of the blue by a student working on her, her, her master's degree named Sara Fazal, and we didn't have any program in place. We didn't even have any funding uh, to, to support her, but she came here on her, on her own dime. She stayed with relatives, and she came to the lab every day, and the success of her led the foundation as a whole to decide that we wanted to start having an official internship program. And so the next year, uh, which was 2012, was the first year of the Summer Scholars uh, internship program and every year since I've mentored a student as well as being a part of the selection of, uh, of students for the, for the program. My name is Navneet Ramesh. Uh, I actually just graduated from UCLA and in 2013 I interned at the SENS Research Foundation with Dr. Gerardo Silva. I think the biggest thing uh, with my experience at SENS is uh, my project was something that I'd never even heard of. And I think what Geraldo did is he explained the project in a way that I could understand it. And he was always you know, available to answer any questions, guide my project, help me you know, if I had any problems at all. Navneet Ramesh was my first intern student at the SENS Research Foundation. I, I think actually he's going to come back and do other work for us. Not, not as a summer intern anymore, but in actually a project of his own. My name is Ethan Sarnowski and I was at the Buck Institute for Research on Aging in 2013. Right now I'm in the starting my third year of my PhD at Yale. I learned a lot of things in the program mainly because it had a very broad breadth. We did research ourselves and I learned some new and interesting techniques and I learned how to think about research. But I also learned how to report my research in a clear and effective manner by doing research reports and also presenting it at the Sense 6 conference. The program is probably what made me continue pursuing uh, aging as a field of research. For anyone just who's curious, but especially for people who are interested in you know, research, trying to develop you know, solutions to some of the biggest problems, uh, it's really important to get involved early. So I think that's key. That's key to forming the next generation of scientists. And I'm, I'm sure that that's what we're doing here. Hope, hopefully they will continue in a career that's you know, related to uh, aging research. I like to think that the uh, research that they did here helped them in their development as well as in their applications. I was really proud to write them uh, recommendation letters and the connection that we've, that we've continued to keep. Doing the Scholars Program has had a massive impact on, on my trajectory. Probably the biggest impact that the, the program's had on me is the work I did, I, I used directly to inform my DPhil application, which is a PhD at Oxford, which I was then successful in getting a, a scholarship for. I think my favorite thing about the program was that I was surrounded by people that had a like-minded goal, that is to prevent age-related disease or ideally reverse age-related disease. Being surrounded by great people makes you able to do great work. This program played a huge role in my development as a researcher, so I think that if it did this for me, it can do it for others as well.